It's, it's not uncommon to hear about criminals being exonerated for their crimes after DNA testing proved their innocence. But as our national correspondent John Frankel recently found, those same DNA tests don't carry much weight in a court of law when it comes to paternity disputes. My name is Carnell Smith. Hey, I don't know if you saw my note. I'm with the Citizens Against Paternity Fraud. Carnell Smith is an engineer in Decatur, Georgia. He's lobbying his state's legislature to help men like him. Men who have discovered they are not the biological fathers of a child and want to stop paying child support. For so many victims that are in worse situations than me, they need this bill. You use the word victim. Mm -hmm. Why do you consider yourself a victim? I consider myself a victim because of circumstances where information that would have caused me to at least doubt the accusation of paternity, that information was withheld from me. I had no idea that there was someone else involved. Smith believed he fathered a daughter with a former girlfriend in 1988. He agreed to pay child support and paternity papers. Smith claims he developed a relationship with the little girl, one he continued even after he married Lisa, shown here, and had his own daughter. But when the ex-girlfriend asked for an increase in support, a friend suggested Smith get a DNA paternity test. The results of two separate tests were the same negative. I believe someone had actually just slugged me in the stomach, man. I thought, how could this possibly happen? In fact, it happens quite often. About 30 percent of the individuals that are presented to us as alleged fathers are excluded as the biological father of the child. This lab in Baltimore charges around $500 for a DNA test. A quarter of a million such tests are performed each year in the U.S. But men involved in disputes such as the Smith case complain the results often fail to sway family court judges. Really knowing who the biological father might not be enough even for law. Carol Sanger, a family law expert, says the courts have traditionally put the child's welfare first. They're very reluctant to, to leave a, a child without support. And so a lot of this comes down to who's going to support the children. For the law, that's often as big an issue as, uh, that, that's often a comparably sized issue to who's the actual father. States that consider DNA evidence when identifying a father usually do so within two to five years of a child's life. After that, the rule for most civil judgments is, um, that's it. We need some finality. That's what Dennis Karen found in Ohio. He was jailed when he refused to pay support for a 10-year-old boy, which a DNA test proved was not his. In Texas, Morgan Wise was already divorced when he found out three of his four kids were not biologically his. But still, a judge ordered him to continue paying child support and even stripped him of visitation rights because Wise shared the DNA information with the kids. I want to see every man and family who find themselves in a similar situation, that they get an opportunity to a, a fair day in court. A handful of states are taking steps towards allowing men to stop paying child support, even years after birth, if DNA disproves a biological relationship. This worries child advocates. If you have taken responsibility for a child for a number of years, if the child has looked to you as a parent for a number of years, does coming in with a genetic test mean you can just walk away from those responsibilities? Smith insists his first responsibility is to his own family. Smith has asked a judge to excuse him from child support, and he's taking the unusual step of suing the ex-girlfriend for more than $40,000 in support he says he's paid over the years. Restitution has, has a great deal to do with the impact financially to my family, who has had to do without because of money going out of the household. Some suggest mandatory paternity testing when children are born. Others say that's unrealistic. If the reluctance to sign prenuptials or even to ask for someone to sign one is as great as it is, I think that the DNA idea, um, the mandatory DNA or the social DNA, you know, darling, if you love me, you'll give me your DNA, um, isn't going to go very far. Say hello to Elmo. But Carnell Smith believes DNA offers proof that must not be ignored. At least somebody should get a chance for their freedom here. So the innocent man should always be allowed to be set free based on evidence. Smith's former girlfriend refused to talk to us. Meanwhile, a law Smith has been lobbying for passed the Georgia House unanimously. It's now pending in a Georgia Senate committee. For The Early Show, 
I'm John Frankel. A judge in Georgia heard testimony on Carnell Smith's case on Monday. We're told a decision is expected soon. Can you imagine? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Did I we haven't come heard in that the, one before. Did we come in the wrong place? Imagine being the poor guy who three of his four are not his. By the way, he's got he to pay child support. He can't though. even visit them. There's something That's a chat there's something, you have with your wife, isn't it? <laughs> there's something really, really Three strange four. here. And I know the guy in prison, right? It's yeah. not his, but he's going to jail for it. Man. There you go. Well, shall we change focus? Sure, why not? Anything's better than that one. There you go. I don't know if you haven't seen the weather yet.